What's up guys? The Sweet Outdoors Back Porch Edition. It's been a very hectic couple of weeks for me. You will have to excuse me. My granddaughters went home, which took up a lot of my time. Well, now my daughter from Tennessee and her boyfriend are down here on vacation for a week. So we've been entertaining them. You know, uh, 4th of July cookout. Hope you had a great, happy, safe 4th of July. Hope you cooked something on the grill. Enjoyed the time with the family as I did. Uh, we had to take them to the beach, uh, fishing, all that good stuff. All that good stuff. So, uh, I got a minute, a few minutes, here to bring you a quick overdue video. Overdue in two ways. First is, I haven't brought you a video in a couple days. Second is, I should have done this video a long time ago. I've done a similar video. We are talking about wet weather fire tender. Today, I'm going to do the most common wet weather fire tender that people use. And then I'm going to demonstrate the difference, see if there's a difference in burn times of my fire tender and untreated. Cotton balls and Vaseline. It's just about every survivalist backpack is camping person, uh, woodsman, it's it's their go-to. Because, I mean, let's face it, it's cheap. This is the little travel size, it's like a dollar, dollar ninety-seven maybe. Dollar, dollar, under five bucks. There's a hundred cotton balls in here, and there's probably enough in here to do all of these. You got plenty of fire. And it's cheap, it's quick, it's waterproof, it starts quick, and it's so simple to make that it is ridiculous. Let's go ahead and get started. What we're going to need, of course, is cotton balls. Of course, is Vaseline. And a little sandwich bag. I'm going to try to do this as mess-free as possible. Because, to be honest with you, I hate getting Vaseline all over my dang hands. Especially to go to part two of this. So first thing we're going to do, let's go ahead and open our cotton balls up here. I'll go ahead and angle you down. Sorry about all this. Let's open up our Vaseline, open the bag, and what you'll do is you'll turn the bag inside out. Just like this. Take your Vaseline, dip you some in the bag just like that. Turn it back inside. Now you've got Vaseline in your bag and you didn't get your hands dirty. And now we're going to take... Uh, we'll do... We'll do six. Six cotton balls. Which is probably way more than we need. Close her up. And this is it, guys. Squish it all together. You want to get these cotton balls covered in your Vaseline. You can use more Vaseline if you like. You can use less Vaseline if you like. You just want enough on there because Vaseline actually helps with the burn time. And it helps with the waterproofness, if that exists. Okay, I think this is good right here. I got my eye on our potential cotton ball. Well, I had my eye on there. I'm trying to squish it all together. There we go. There we go. So now we've got some Vaseline impregnated cotton balls. Now, what we're going to do, why put, why put it on there? Why put, you know, the cotton ball itself will catch on fire. Yes, but this, like I said, this helps it stay waterproof and it burns longer. Now this one here has got a good bit in there. Oh yeah, good bit. We're going to expose our cotton. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take our fire steel 
and we're going to catch both of these on fire hopefully without catching my table on fire and we're going to see which one burns longest you know what <laughs> let's do it the easy way I'm, I'm trying to do this without catching my table on fire guys Maybe I should fluff it up. That burns. There. No Vaseline, Vaseline. It does tend to catch a little bit easier. Like I said, I was trying not to catch a table on fire let me see that one's already out you have to really fluff her good no brainer guys the Vaseline burns a lot longer and you saw how easy it caught on. Yes, the cotton will fluff it up real good. It will catch on fire, but it goes out so fast. That's still going. In wet weather, you got some wet twigs. This will help you so much better in getting that fire going. So much better. See that? See that? Not as easy to blow out either. I'm, I'm determined to catch my table on fire. The cotton just sits there and smolders. Not necessarily a bad thing. Hope you enjoyed this, guys. Let me get this smoking ass thing out of the way. It's a little warm, too. Up here, guys. And it's just sitting there, just smoking. Great for mosquitoes. I'll check it out. I don't know if y'all can see, but. My bird feeders, they are picking them dry. I got squirrels, I got birds. At any given time, I've got probably 50 or 60 birds out here. Grandkids love them. So anyway, guys, enough of the bird crap. Quick, simple, wet weather fire tender. Cheap, and like I said, this is a go-to. You know, I have another video on uh, wet weather fire tender where I take cotton pads Little makeup removal pads and I dip them in citronella citronella wax and they work great as well uh, but this is I got a lot of comments on I prefer cotton balls and Vaseline and stuff, so I figured why not I'd share it with you guys some of you guys probably don't know how to do it so I showed you how to do it get out and make you a bunch of them you can make a hundred of them for under five bucks hope you enjoyed this be safe it's too early for all that Hope you enjoyed all of this. Go ahead, give me the like. Please hit the subscribe, thumbs up, notification. Go ahead, download it, share, check us out on Facebook, the Sweet Outdoors. And uh, just to remind you, give me 500 subscribers. The uh, BPS knife, the BPS Adventurer with leather sheath and fire steel, the one that I did the, I'm giving away. It's a giveaway. 500 subscribers and I give it away. I also want 500 views. Not looking good right now, guys. So tighten up. Y'all want that knife? Go ahead, hit that subscribe button right now. Get in, enter, enter for a chance to win it. Now, be safe. God bless. Get outside, people.